Hi, my name is Daniel and you are probably wondering how to use this thing. So, today I'm going to show you how to use it. This is the board using SIM 808. Simply, these chips let you make a phone calls, receive the GPS signal, etc. These boards exactly have a jack for a speaker, jack for a microphone, it has this little vibration motor, USB for firmware updates, GSM and Bluetooth antenna, this port for charging, these ports for communication, these two ports or jumpers for uh, charging or running from the battery and this antenna this is the GSM antenna. On the bottom side you have a SIM tray and you have this little specification that says that this is the SIM 808 version 3.2. Okay, so I'm not really going to t talk about a lot about how does this work. You can probably read about uh, these boards or very uh, similar boards on the internet. So actually this, I learned it today. I made this tutorial because I couldn't find any tutorial that could help me. So I hope that this, this information could help someone else in the future. So what you're gonna need? You have to have a board like this or similar board and obviously you want to test it if it even runs and if it supports for example your carrier or whatever you are new but new guy with these things and you want to learn you want to test whatever I bought this little thing it's called a uh, USB to TTI or whatever what it does is that you plug this into your PC and on the other side you have these little pins and with these little pins when you connect these cables to it and connect it into a device you can communicate with it very simple so this device supports the UART connection or serial connection whatever is better for you and so these things helps or provides your computer so that you can communicate with these devices via the serial port because your computer does not have a serial port so on the other side here you have these little labels 3 volts, 5 volts, TXD, RXD and ground these two depends on the logic that your peripheral device uses so here we have a 5 volts connected because this board works with 5 volts or higher that's the reason so how to connect it here you can see that there are labels txd rxd rxd txd vmcu or v in and the bottom one for both both are gnd ground so by using your brain you know that you have to connect gnd to one of those pins for ground 5 volts we are connecting to the VMC or VIN that does not really care and here we have TXD and RXD what matters is the polarity so we have now two sides this side and this side so when you want to send something from here and you will be sending it from the TXD so you want 
from this board to receive it. So you have to send it from TXD here and it must go to RXD here because you are sending it from here and receiving it here. And then the sides change. So when you want to send something from here to this device, you have to send it from TXD from here and receive it to RXD so now, here. When we have our board connected to our computer, what we need is to power on the, the board. As you can see, we have a little flash here, lightning, but that only means that you have a power. What really, really powers up our board is this little switch here that we need to push and hold for a while until we see a little flashes blinking here little LEDs, so I'm gonna show you. Yep, so it's running. Nothing special. This uh, exact uh, thing may work only for me because the other, other boards may not have these LEDs, so don't be scared. Okay, so now once we have our USB to TTL connected to our computer we have to set up our port so we need to find uh, where our where our device is so we can go to computer uh, management and to our devices and we have to look for it at this ports comes once we click here, we can see that we have our USB to TTL connected to the port COM8. Uh, maybe you would have to uh, download the drivers for the USB uh, to TTL converter before this, but that does not really better, matter because it's, the e it's very easy step. I can even provide you the link for it. And after the installing the driver and after rebooting your computer, you will be able to see this, but maybe with a different number here. Okay, so then you have to uh, install or not really install, but download this little program that is called Termite. You can uh, use a real term or whatever program or putty, but this this program actually is very lightweight. It not, does not really have a lot of settings and it's very easy to use. So at first you would have to click here because you have to connect to the port and you have to change the settings to the baud rate uh, 9600. But uh, don't really follow my steps as, as I have it because you should read the documentation about uh, about your specifics about your board because your board could be different and you it could use a different baud rate but mine is using this one so that's why I have this setting here so now when we are connected I can actually try to communicate with my board so the very basic command that you can use is to use an AT command. As you can see, you really have to type only the AT. If everything is set up okay, so that if you, if you use the right port and the ra right baud rate, or maybe you would have to change this settings or slightly but I don't really think so that you would have to and by pressing the enter you can see that I sent this it's blue and when it's blue that means that you sent that and the green stands for that 
you received. So you received AT and OK. So you only send the AT command. The board received AT. She sent back AT and she also tells you OK. So that means that your communication with boards, boards such like this works. So you can continue with your, uh, with your work or project, or you can easily uh, test if everything works or how it works. And then you can make a script, for example, in Python or C in your Raspberry Pi, and then you can control this board from Raspberry Pi. But you can ensure yourself that your board works, that you've tested everything and that you learned something new. So that's everything from me and have a nice day. Bye.